Hi guys. Hey, my latest venture is installing a smoke system on my baby here. This is a power chute, Airwolf. It's a 100 horse, four stroke engine. It's got lots of power. And what I plan on doing is installing what they call a smoke system. And all it does is inject oil into the exhaust. It's a non-toxic uh, smoke oil that is created for aviation and radio controlled, remote controlled cars, pretty much whatever you want to smoke. Uh, I just got this tank that will be mounted down here, probably underneath the seat. I want to be able to get at it easy to put oil in it. I'm not sure where that's going to go yet. I wanted to do this for quite a while. I think it'll be fun. As long as I use it with some common sense. So here it is guys. You're probably going to weld that, that uh, Nipple right about there. There's some good welders around here, but Power Shoot knows how to do it. They've done it before. They've got the fitting for it. So I'm going to just run it down there and be done with it. Have it done. Have it done right. Have it done once. So we'll see you when we get back. All right, guys, I got back from uh, Power Shoot. They welded this on for me. Is that sweet or what? I'll show you how it's gonna work. I gotta put this, this sensor back on, but this one right now. I'm gonna put this on like this. This goes here. And I'm gonna mount the tank. Probably right about here. We're going to put the fuel pump right there, plumb that into there. So I got this aluminum piece of angle. Come off an old bird I had here. So I think I'm going to use that to mount that tank. Go like this, drill another hole there on this side. I'll have to drill one here. It's really hard to show what I'm talking about up here, but you'll see in a minute the method to my madness. It's got to be five and three quarters long. So, if my guesstimation is right, that is the center point right there for this second bolt that I'm going to drill. And then I'll show you how that lines up. like that. And then this bracket will go on here like this. And I think I'm going to weld a piece of flat stock onto this wire. Maybe bring it all the way over to here. And weld a flat spot to this wire. 
catch some of it here. I guess I could do the whole thing. Go from here to here. And then I'll drill a hole in that flat spot and it'll go through the flat stock. And it'll go through that flat stock and hold all this. That'll keep it solid. That'll be slick. I'm excited. Tack welded that on there right there. I didn't get anything wider. This will work. And then I'll drill a quarter inch hole right there. It's just got to uh, stiffen up the bottom, bottom basket and keep it from vibrating around. And it's going to work perfect. We've got enough. We've got a little bit of clay right here. So really all I gotta do is find the center of that bolt. And drill it in the center of that plate and it'll be just perfect. Before I get too carried away, I will uh, put some paint on that. Let it dry for the night. And then I can mount this in the morning. I just want to make sure it's going to fit. I'm pretty sure it is. That's going to be nice. It'll be nice and solid too with this third mounting point on it. So I'll see you guys in the morning. I've had enough. What 10 30. So guys, uh, I'm trying not to rush here, but my niece is coming up from uh, Chicago. That's about probably five hours from here. And uh, She's, we've got my daughter, my youngest daughter's graduation is today. And so she's coming up here for that. And her mother is, is would be my aunt, is deathly afraid of these <laughs> powered parachutes. So I've got some uh, flying weather Sunday. So we're thinking of getting the smoke system working and then taking my niece up and have her go like live and kick this baby on is that a is that a bad thing as her mother is watching Christmas is probably never going to be the same what I don't know we'll see what happens and then you don't want to clamp it in a vise to where you can't get at it either. So this is the folder. We got my rubber line going on to that. I really hate to be rushed with one of these projects here, but I'm just going to double check everything. All it does is inject oil into the exhaust, so the main thing is that you don't have something loose to where it can go through the prop. That's a big thing, because if this quits working, it's not a big deal. It doesn't perfect the, affect the engine performance. All right, what do you guys think of that? There's my pump. I guess we gotta be 
the perfect spot for it right there. If I was a professional V-blogger, as my daughter calls it, I would have all my wrenches ready, and I don't, so I'll be back. Hey guys, hopefully this is the only time you see the bottom of an airwolf, is when you're in the pit. Uh, but anyways, it's starting to take shape. There's the fuel pump up there, I got that mounted. There's my feed line, there's a the tank. Right now I'm running the wire, I'm going to run on the wrongest rail. I'm going to run this. I'm going to get this run and then I'll put the wire in it and then I'll tight, tighten the clips up, the zip ties. So that's what's going on right now. Uh, of course we had some decent flying weather this morning and I didn't have this ready. So, But tonight's not looking too bad either so I'll keep you posted. So guys, I'm putting this switch on. I found this really cool switch at the parts store. It's got this safety on top that goes like this. So it protects that so you don't accidentally turn it on. But the problem is, is this shank right here is so short that it won't stick in all the way to put this nut on. So I'm gonna just grind this out right here I'll probably inch the, itch the rest of the day because it's fiberglass. But uh, you gotta do what you gotta do. Alright, guys, this is, I think this is a perfect spot for this switch. It's gonna be out of the way. I just have to be careful when I get up and on so my foot doesn't hit the side of it. but. Still got this cover, so smoke off. Oh, cool. Should be testing her out here in half hour. Just had to turn the radio down because I I realized that's probably uh, gonna mess with that copy copyright deal they're talking about. So, anyways, I gotta hook this up and. Put my uh, feed pipe on, feed line, and should be about ready to go. Now this line right here is it's actually, uh, we wrap that around a pipe and, and it will help with the vibration. Um, if somebody asks why it's like that, we can also tell them that it's what, atomic. Particle sublimination or something. Maybe it helps you with your uh, penmanship when you're writing in the sky or something. That's going to be sweet. Just like that, guys. It's going to be smoking here pretty quick. All right, guys. I got her. Uh, I've been over everything twice. Some, some of it three times. Everything is ready to go. Um, this tank didn't have a vent. I thought about putting a vent in the top of the cap, but then uh, smoke oil would be coming out of that, so I just run this. This The tank had a vent right here, so I run this hose up, came back down. It'll help keep the dirt from going up. The dirt's not going to go up and then back around, so that's the plan anyways. I thought about putting a strap on this cap, but... I'll probably do that after I lose that one and then have to buy a whole another tank just to get the cap and then I'll put a strap on it so I don't lose it. But, uh, so it should be ready to go. I got the switch on it. Right here's the switch. It only comes on when the key's on. So I would say let's go test her out.